Good morning. It's Mary Ellen, and yes, I'm filming two videos in one day. Uh, the sun is out, the air conditioner is on, and, and I'm going to leave it on. So I hope it doesn't bother you. I hope it isn't uh, annoying, but it's just kind of really, really hot here. I'm just going to do a very quick get ready with me. I have on my CC Plus powder, and today I use the Mali Port Defender. Well, it's now called Face Defender. I've used this for two years and I have two backup. But I just, and you just dab that on your face. A sponge, uh, I use like the e.l.f. inexpensive sponges or the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I will just press it on my skin and it takes away a lot of the shine and, and I'm not going anywhere where I need extra sun protection today so I didn't use my 50 SPF powder. I do have on my Milani blush in T-Rose and I just pulled all stops and I put on a little highlighter today. And the one I did, used was my Opal from, from Becca. And Natalie, the beauty diva, had recommended that from me, oh, probably 18 months ago. And I have used it, but you can't even tell I've got a dent in it. It will last my whole lifetime. Well, I hope it doesn't, but it will last a long time. On my eyes, I'm going to talk about the new Superhero palette. I have trouble using only that palette to do an eye look, and that doesn't bother me because I put my makeup on sitting in a vanity. Even though the It Superhero has, oh, three eyelid foundations, I chose to use this Day from the, it's just called DAY, and I put it all over my eyelids, and it's from the Too Faced matte natural matte palette I use the unstoppable gold on my mobile lid and then in the crease in the crease I use daring and then I also used a little of the bold and with the bold I did kind of the wedge eyeliner but it's not I didn't use it as an eyeliner because I went ahead and used my Sonia Kashuk um, eyeliner palette and I use the navy. I do have on the Catrice in my upper waterline. It's a little bit brighter of a blue than the It and I like it a lot. It does transfer but it, it doesn't bother me and it won't bother me at all today. And on my lips I have on the Blushing Beauty from Milani. I have, still haven't gotten to place as much as I want to with the, these eyeshadows because it's going to take me longer to be able to figure out the best way to use them. They are much more pigmented than the other palettes I have, so it's a good challenge for me. It really is. Okay, nobody likes my real hair anymore since I got that wig, but I'm, I'm not going to get my hair cut. I know myself. I have fooled people with that wig. In person, it's that realistic. At five weeks post-op, when I was washing my hair, I had a ton of hair loss. A ton. And again, I just just today when I washed it, the same thing happened even more. So I am anticipating, you know, that's just one of the side effects of anesthesia. And I'll deal with that. I, you know, I know I have more hair than some people and I have less hair than some people. So I'm fine with it, but it is, I, I, I anticipate some changes there. But something I thought about, you all know that have watched me for a while, that my goal is to one of these days have silver hair have gray hair. My natural color is strawberry blonde with an emphasis on strawberry. That's how I was when I, that was my color for a long time. So my hair's not going to gray as nicely as my oldest sister's. But when I start getting enough, see I still, I don't color this because I do like that color of silver, but my beautician said that I don't have any gray from here back. So what I plan on doing is I can use that wig to cover my head and get my hair cut short all over. And when all the color's grown out, I can have it cut in a true little pixie. And then voila, I will have my silver hair that I, that I want. Yeah, there's another reason that, um, that I got that wig. But I will tell you, it is all good. And uh, I hope you have a great day. And thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you.